Hey, this is Spencer Ludwig, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. You're about to hit the stage downstairs yes. at the Wiltern. This venue is not only iconic, but I feel like every time I come here for a show, like it's always one of the best shows I've, I've experienced. Like, Have you been here before for a show? This is a very special show because I have not been here. I'm from nice. Los Angeles. <laughs> what is I've, wrong with you? I've played in about every single venue, restaurant, club, <laughs> bar, you name it. I mean, I cut my teeth out here and did as much groundwork uh, as you possibly can mm -hmm. as a musician, but didn't play the Wiltern. I played right down the street at the El Rey okay. when I was with Capital Cities, right. um, but we never made it to the Wiltern, so this is really, really special for me. Now, and it's also special because it's a collaboration that I, tour collaboration that I would not have expected. Uh, Fonseca is, you know, taking you out on, on this run. So how did this idea of going on tour with him kind of happen for you guys? Yeah, this is the power of collaboration. Um, we met at a friend's wedding. We have a mutual friend, which is crazy. Yeah. And um, we both performed at the wedding and we both kind of just fell in love with each other's music. And uh, very quickly after, he reached out and invited me to collaborate with him on Por Pura Curiosidad. And from there, like the power of collaboration opened up all of the doors and opportunities. That song helped introduce me to the Latin world mm -hmm. and something that I'm very passionate about and have been since playing with Capital Cities and touring South America and just loving the energy of the people. I've always been super focused on how am I getting down to South America? How am I connecting with the Latin community again? So when the Fonseca thing happened, I was just so excited and just wanted to like run with every possible opportunity. So as soon as the record was made, I was like, when are we gonna go on tour? <laughs> and he was just like, next time I go on the road, you should come with me. And uh, he's just like the warmest, most humble, like down to earth person, like really like, one of the greatest kind of diamonds in the rough as a as a person and as an artist and um he's diamonds and pearls and he is he is he is diamonds and pearls he's just such a good 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 person and you can hear it in his music you can hear it in his voice right. and um yeah i mean it's like when when you collaborate with people you know the two energies i think kind of create something new and we're both kind of riding the wave of the music that happens you know after you make it right what I, what I loved about this collaboration is that you not only played the trumpet on it, you actually sang on it too. And yes. like, I love this crossover that's going on with Latin pop and like English pop and like just American sounds. Uh, Juan has just released one with Alessia Cara a couple of days ago, which is like insane. But like, a surprise. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know, like, talk to me about the production of this. Did you guys get to work on yes. it together? Was this like, you know, yes. through the internet? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we, we just did one, one day, full day in the studio together, mm -hmm. just kind of like throwing things on the wall, seeing what sticks. And uh, yeah, it was probably a half day of actual work that, uh, you know, created the album. Right. It, was, it was very fast, but we worked really well together. And we had a bunch of other kind of really talented uh, songwriters and producers in the room, kind of helping glue everything together. Mm -hmm. And Juan actually really helped me with my Spanish pronunciation wow. um, and coached me through the process of singing in Spanish. And uh, that moment like really inspired me to want to like improve my Spanish speaking and right. singing. Since then, I've worked uh, more on uh, Latin feeling music and my set like tonight is uh, you know a testament to like really what purpurio <laughs> almost almost what purpura curiosidad <laughs> has inspired right you know it's inspired a whole new wave for me mm. and uh, yeah just fusing the the Latin rhythms and melodies into what I do um, because just like you were saying you know there's a thing happening between the cultures fusing together right. and it's kind of yeah to bring the world together to bring cultures together to not sort of separate you know this genre that genre this culture right. that culture um and i'm interested in doing that and in, in kind of always melting different cultures and different sounds together now, how do you feel like that collaboration impacted the way that you perform your trumpet or the way that you write music for your trumpet now um i always i th that's what i bring to any collaboration that I do and mm -hmm. to my own music is like trumpet. So I think for for me it was um, it was just about putting what I always do into Fonseca's music yeah. and and just placing it exactly where I would normally place it. And he was really open to allowing me to kind of just put my ideas down and and to allow that collaboration to feel natural in that way. Right. Um, 
Yeah, so I, uh, I, I have trumpet on every song, and it's really important for me because those are the moments where I get to just like really connect with the music from like a instrumental point of view. Um, writing the songs is kind of the way to sort of connect with the people, mm. but like to connect with the music is really important to me. Uh, you know, it's beyond the song. It's, it's what's actually happening instrumentally between myself and other musicians and right. just like the other instruments. So as an instrumentalist first, I got to, I had need those moments and I need them like multiple times a song, which is why you hear the trumpet in that song mm. in the beginning, in the middle, in the end, in the bridge, all right. over. That's, that's, that's a lot to think about. Like you don't, you don't think about, as a listener, you don't think about that behind the scenes. Like, yeah. you know, because for me with, with video editing, for example, when you do a, tr a specific transition or an effect once, it seems like it's an error, but when you kind of put it across the line, it seems like it's something you've been trying to do on purpose. So I totally get that yeah. in, a, in a sense, maybe that's yeah. not a great example, but no, yeah, it's, uh, it's like my, it's just my aesthetic. It's like my yeah. song isn't complete until there's trumpet in all of the sections that, you know, typically have trumpet in my music like that's what makes it kind of my song and makes it a song that I can perform which is really kind of where it all stems from right. you know the inspiration for my music is is coming from how do I want it to feel when I'm performing right. and if the trumpet moments aren't there then it doesn't feel like you know something I'd want to do right. you know um, so yeah it's all about it's all about that experience and it's it's just perfect because, you know, thinking about how would I want this song to feel live, performing with Fonseca, that's how we created it. And now, you know, I perform that song with him live and it right. feels natural and it feels great. Right. Now talk to me about your music right now. You have Diamonds and Pearls out. Um, and it's funny because when I think about your name and I think about your music, like to me, I've heard you for a while. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as a solo artist, you've just been doing this for... Yeah a couple of years yeah. if if that so it's like right. it's singles that you've been releasing yes. but when you know what are the plans for an ep or an album because i like to me it's a tease to just listen to yeah. singles because i love what you're doing Thanks. so you know are you are you working towards a project like that yes well like you said it's only been a couple of years so i've just been exploring and mm. and i've been releasing singles to share with you know my growing fan base to kind of get a read on like what's sticking yeah and also to just share like what i'm enjoying in the moment but um, I have a song featured in a Tommy Hilfiger commercial this fall. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also modeling for the brand this year, so um, it's really exciting that the song will be in the campaign. And to support the release of that song, I'm going to put together an EP. Okay. Um, I've, I write music every day. I write, try to write a song every day. Mm -hmm. So I have a huge catalog of music. Now it's just about picking the stuff that you know I want out there first and uh, that kind of makes the most sense with um, you know the song that'll be in the campaign it's called brand new is the name of the song so um, yeah now it's just about sort of picking all the right stuff to support that release but in general I am moving towards EPs and albums and feeling ready for that mm -hmm. but um, you know as as I've been just kind of discovering you know my sound and what my personal and artistic goals are I've been kind of releasing um, singles and learning from each release the mm -hmm. process of making a video releasing a video making a single and working with different producers and different songwriters and finding like my crew you know do you feel like as you're kind of discovering your sound um, do you feel like you've kind of discovered the way that you create your music the, the the writing process do you feel like now it's you have a way of doing it or are you still trying to figure out what the best way to, to write that perfect song is yeah, I think songwriting is a muscle, and um, because I've been doing it every day for, you know, a few years now, um, you know, I'm at my best, mm -hmm. but I also know that I will always continue to get better. So, yeah, I have a way in, of doing it that feels good, right. um, but I'm also very aware that, um, you know, it's a process that, like, is improving, you know, forever, really. Right. But I, I do have a, a way of doing it, and right now I'm just about, you know, writing party music, essentially. I just I just want to, like create the moment that I want to live in, which is like a wild party. No, that's awesome. Now, tell me a little bit more about this collaboration with Tommy Hilfiger. How did this come about for you? And I know you did a, like a release, not a release show, but you did a, a show at Citadel Outlets with yes. them, um, which was kind of in preparation of this. But how did this happen for you? And like, are there any plans of you actually getting to design some of their clothing? Um, that would be a dream. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I think like, you know, anything is possible mm. um 
and uh, the name of the campaign is actually called Make It Possible. So, so we got to make it. Co yeah. We got to make it possible. Yeah. So I got to make it possible. <laughs> but um, you know, life life is crazy, and I think the more you put yourself out there, especially as an artist, you kind of never know where your music and where your where your brand is gonna like find its way. Right. Um, Honestly, I had work, the creative director for um, Tommy Hilfiger at, at this time right now was previously working with Target. Okay. And Target launched my first single, Diggy, ever. Okay. Wow. And it was that person, um, Alejandra Gar Garabe. Um, and she chose my song and also chose me to be in the Target commercial. Um, and that was like my first moment as a solo artist. It was crazy, got me on Seth Meyers. And like, she really helped kind of you know, jumpstart my career through the Target brand, which was a really amazing learning experience for me because I kind of uh, was introduced to, you know, the, the, the strategy and the power of um, sort of collaborating with brands as an artist and right. like what that can do. Um, so she, uh, she and I have been friends and I think it's really important to, you know, keep and maintain and establish like real relationships right. while you're, you know, moving independently through the, through the system and um, yeah, she she uh, started working with Tommy and thought of me and the rest is history and now there's billboards everywhere That's and amazing. it's uh, it's really psycho and people have been texting me uh, photos of you know this city and that city and it's that just amazing. it's like it's unbelievable to me and I'm just super grateful and it's um, you know I'm going with the flow and just very grateful. That's amazing. Well, congratulations with that. Congratulations with this tour right now. Um, and once again, Diamonds and Pearls is another great track. Um, for those that are not familiar with you, what's next? What, what's next for, for Spencer? Um, well, I have the EP to look forward to. Mm. Um, the song Brand New is coming out through the Tommy Hilfiger campaign. And um, I, I mean... I've, I have my, my last residency show in Brooklyn on June 28th. Okay. Started a monthly party out there, um, which started out as a very lighthearted idea just to kind of bring people together. Again, create the sort of moment that I want to live in and like have my music experienced in. Right. A monthly party in Brooklyn. It started out as a very lighthearted idea, and uh, I set out to do six of them, and now it's something that I want to do ongoing you know, for as long as I can. A monthly party is like the best thing to look forward to for myself yeah. and for everyone who uh, has come and experienced it. I think that they would say they would like it to continue as well. It's it's not your typical residency where it's like my band and then a few opening bands. It's mm -hmm. my band, but surrounded by, you know, random performances from contortionists and fire wow. dancers and drag queens and aerialists and <laughs> sword swallowers and just kind of like changing up the formula for like what is a concert yeah. you know instead of just like waiting for the band and there's like hold music or there's opening bands um there's in my party just like a bunch of random stuff so that's happening in, on june 28th and it will continue to happen next year so that's something that i look really i really look forward to and i hope everyone else does amazing dude well thanks for hanging out with me you guys be sure to check out spencer ludwig new single is out now thanks for watching on front row live